robots rampage through movies all the time, but in Stafford, they seem to like the high school instead. Now, these robots aren't rock'em sock'em, but they do know how to dunk a ball. The VEX Robotics Competition was hosted at Stafford High School for a second time, and the Stafford High School Robotics Club came back to the competition bigger and better than last year. Yeah, last year basically was our first year that we participate in the VEX and also in the first. So we came in the, the competition without any high expectation. We did not know exactly what the expectation. So we came in the last year to learn a lot and we took a lot of pictures. We spoke to the other team member how they built this thing and then we came back. Over the summer we got a couple of students and we learned different things. So that's why this year made us really strong, you know. Uh, and Stafford High School, even we are second team, but for the uh, robotic committee, we consider to be one of the strong team in the competition. Strategy, we learn different kind of strategy, offense and defense, but basically uh, everything about planning. We planning, we assign tasks to everybody, make sure that every match is thing work out right, and also programming. So my job is to support all the students and put in a program so that every mass will be a successful for them and help them to The Robotics Club is now 72 strong, a 40 increase from last year's 32. First time uh, we started robotics was, I believe, four years ago. And when we started, we were a small group. Um, there was only like one or two people. and. It's great to see how much we've grown into 30, 40, 50 people and uh, the dedication of the students and how far we've come in robotics. I, I had a lot of fun with the VEX competition. This is my second year competing. It was really great to see uh, teams that we saw last year and people that we knew competing with us again and their designs and what they had to come up with. With, someone... with the new year came a new design for the team. Every year the competition requires us to do something else, something new. So this year we studied the game and we had to pick up pieces and score them into a goal. Now the thing with this year, we decided to do a robot that would work like a vacuum cleaner where the pieces would come up through the bottom or through the top and be dumped at the, at the goal post. Uh, this year we decided to also create kind of like a bigger robot because last year we were kind of worried about go over, going over the limit because we have to fit into 18 by 18 squares. But this year we just kind of decided to just push the limit and actually go to the full 18, 18 by 18. So that's also a difference from last year to this year. Last year we had a lot of problems. We ran into a lot of uh, technical difficulties and then we started pretty late. So this year we decided to come in a little bit earlier to get those problems fixed before we could get run into those problems again. We had a lot of testing. We had a lot of test, trial and error. Basically we tested, we tried it, and if it didn't work we went back. So this year is much better because of the fact that we tested the robot more out and we had more time to plan it out. I think this year we've had more experience. Uh, watching the robots last year helped us with our robot this year, with our building projects and everything. So, how did the team improve this year? They made it to the quarterfinals. Today's results, uh, I'm happy about it. Uh, Robot-wise, it worked good. It did everything it was supposed to do except with a little bit of malfunctions. For the most part, the, the changes between the rounds is just because we notice stuff during the matches that we have to come back and fix. Now, the, the, something new that we add is the programming. So every round, we change the programming based on what we see to make it better so our, our programming is better for the next round. Now, the technical fixes, mechanical fixes and all that is something that we notice that goes wrong during the match, so we have to come back and fix it. Basically, like, like a NASCAR pit stop, you can call it like that. We go back, we tighten everything up, make sure that everything is working properly. Even though the team didn't get past the quarterfinals, their spirit isn't down. Um, it's a happy ending. It's a happy ending. It's all worth it. We competed with veterans that have been doing this for more than, what, five years? And it's just our second year, so yeah. Yes, everyone had fun. I mean, everyone contributed a little bit of something, a little bit of their personality, and yeah, it's what makes this robot. So. so, what makes this team of Stafford students even more special? They don't have a lot of funding from the school. Our school, we don't have a uh, budget for robotics. So in order to build robotics, the robotics take a lot of effort, and also the most important part is the money. So last year, I stepped in and I uh, wrote a lot of different grants. And last year we raised about 25,000. And my goal is the same for this year. My goal is to support the students. 
For Spartan Spotlight, I'm Brian Kidoga.